So we're here at Caseby Tunnel, which is a converted railway tunnel, to measure the drag of one of our cars. The drag is the aerodynamic force that the car has to overcome to go forward. We've got lots of little static pressure tappings, little holes on the surface of the car where we can measure the pressure. And we can start to understand not just a single number, what is the drag force, but we can start to understand how the pressure distribution is affecting that. And from an academic and design perspective, that's the kind of information we need to design better cars. We'll use a facility like this because vehicle aerodynamics is unsteady. Outside we have lots of external influences that we can't control, wind, gradients, etc. In this type of facility we're able to have a steady condition so that we can just study that unsteady aerodynamics. People today who are buying electric cars, there's a common phrase now where people get anxious about the range they can do and how far they can go on one charge. Aerodynamics plays a key role in that because if we can reduce the drag, you can go further on one charge. So that's one of the key things we're interested in. If you're still driving a petrol car, it's all about how much fuel you burn and how much emissions you're kicking out. So the data we're getting today can help us understand that in the car and make those design changes or help the industry make design changes to production cars.